Okay, so this is called the home screen. From here, we can swipe to the right and we can search straight onto Cookie Doo. So the first thing I'd love for you all to make is your vegetable stock paste. Now, if I put the word vegetable in, it will bring me up about 500 different recipes. So the easiest one I choose is the lesser known word. So I'm actually going to put the word stock. I could put paste and it would help if I actually spelt it right. So put in the search word stock. Now you can choose one of these, but I personally like to go for a broader search and I go to the green one. Now it will come up by, pers uh, by um, popularity and we have two vegetable stock paste. One is probably from the UK and the other one's from Australia because they're the filters that I have put on. I'll cover this in another video later on. But what we want to do is add the stock paste from these three little dots on the right hand side to cook today. Now you can add the um, ingredients directly to your shopping list or you can bookmark it. Personally, I don't use a bookmark, okay? So then the little house up here is home, back to home screen. So when we come up to these three dashes on the left-hand side, we can then come to my week. Okay, so here I have my stock paste. Before I go in and have a look at what's in that recipe, from these three little dots on the right hand side, you can touch those three little dots there and it will come up to move to another day or add to a collection. Now, I recommend if you haven't already started making some collections to create some collections. And if we create, and we can just call this one basics. So things like, all of your stocks, all of your, um, all, all of your basics, basically, <laughs> if that all makes sense. So we go, okay, and that has created a new collection. All right, now we can go straight into the recipe. It tells me it's for a TM6, and we can look at the ingredients by touching this little tab here, come underneath, it gives us utensils that are handy, hints and tips around storing and about the salt content, because if you've never made the vegetable stock paste before, you'll think, oh my Lord, that is a lot of stock. But remember, it's a concentrate and we only use a small amount of it. The variations are basically using your leftover veggies. So I personally keep all my broccoli stalks and my cauliflower stalks and all of those things that you often don't use. And some people put it into the freezer, some people keep it in a container just the week before they're due to make more stock. Okay, we're gonna come home again. And actually I'll just show you very quickly, just in case you haven't done this, go into your settings, go to your sounds, you will be defaulted at medium, but you can turn it up high or low, and your duration will be set to unlimited, which means it will just call and call and call. I recommend setting it back down to 10 seconds. If you're a busy person and you want to be reminded, you can do so that way as well. Okay, you can change your tune, and um, I like to change my tune quite regularly. So TM, oh, that's the standard sound on the TM5. Just choose whichever you prefer. I'm a bit of a guitar girl myself and there are a few more up under there as well. Come back and back. We are connected to the internet, so you will already be set up. So the other thing I want to show you is that ever you're going away and you want to take your Thermomix with you, remember transportation mode is just under the display. So there, and that will activate and that locks your arms up, okay? Then to turn it off, if ever you turn your Thermomix off at the wall, while it's still turned on. The next time you turn it on, it will say unexpected shutdown, please turn off. And to turn it off, you hold your dial in for two or three seconds. Okay, now the last thing I want to show you are the features and the functions, because some of you are graduating from a TM31 or a TM5, and we've got lots of really cool features on the TM6. So we've got our scales, the dough and the turbo. So your turbo is like a pulse button. It will automatically lock. 
you can ch then turn it to half a second, one second or two seconds. Personally, I just usually keep it on one second and I'll just turn it twice. Whenever you see one of these symbols, it just means turn the dial, okay? Then we've got the pre-clean. Now, with your new Thermomix, this will be there all the time, but you can actually click down here so you don't have to see that again. And it just tells you the dough is a cool wash because if you put warm water in, it'll turn it to glue. You've got universal fat and caramel and browning. So I'll talk in another video about cleaning your Thermomix because um, I can go in depth with lots more things. It automatically sets um, what you want. Your blend, again, this is like your uh, Nutribullet or your blender. So you can just turn up the time if you want, then turn that and that will start. Egg boiler. This is one of the really fabulous new features that's been added. So whenever Vorver do a new um, update, it automatically is up on your screen via the um, internet. So with this, again, you'll have this up here. Again, you can take that do not show me this message again, but just tells you you can do soft, medium, medium, partly soft yolk, medium, hard and hard. So you just literally turn the dial to where you want. Now your eggs go in there with the water. So for those of you that are graduating from uh, 31 or a five, in the old days, we used to put our basket, our eggs in the basket. This one you put straight in the bottom there because the blades do not turn. Okay, uh, we've got the kettle. I'll talk to you more about the kettle later because I don't actually use the kettle to boil, you know, a cup of tea. You can see that's now gone to 60 degrees up because I was um, testing out the egg boiler. Warm up mode, I love. I don't own a microwave. So for me, this is how I warm up my soups and stews and casseroles. You can set the temperature to what you like. This way you're not going to be cooking your food further than you need. And then you can just turn on to soft spoon one or two. It doesn't go any faster than that. Um, thickening mode. Personally, I don't use this by itself. I usually do this through a guided recipe and I'll be teaching you more about the guided recipes over the coming weeks. Rice cooker, have a go at the rice cooker. It's fantastic. Again, it's more by absorption method. The blades don't turn. You put your rice and your water, a splash of oil and a bit of stock or salt and automatically it will set the time perfectly to cook your rice. One of my favourite features is the fermentation mode and I will send you my recipes for fabulous coconut yoghurt and also a milk yoghurt. If you really like yoghurt, you can make two, two and a half litres in one go. Slow cook, another fantastic feature with the TM6. You can set it for eight hours. You can set your temperature to whatever you like. So you can do longer and um, lower and less and higher so you just turn again turn it on so it usually stirs for about the first 10 to 15 minutes then it stops and starts stops and starts and you must must make the lamb ragout if you eat meat it's fantastic okay and the last one is sous vide so sous vide is where you're cooking it in a water bath at a very low temperature and there are lots of collections on Cookie Do for all of these features and functions. Now, the only feature and function that you won't find here is the spoon, which is the sugar mode. So if you wanna make caramel or toffee, that has to be done through a guided recipe, as does the high heat. So I'm gonna very quickly show you the high heat because I'll show you what that um, what that feature looks like. So if you look for saute, that's going to bring up a whole heap of fabulous recipes. Fantastic for doing stir fries, capsicum, chicken, mushrooms. I love the sauteed onions. So if we go into this and start cooking, it'll put your oil, your onion, put your splash guard on 
and this are the three wavy lines. So this has to be done through guided cooking. You can't do this manually because it gets to 160 degrees there. Okay, and actually I'll quit. Oh, that's another thing I can show you. Up the top next to the next is the three dots. You can look at your recipe details and go through and look that way. And you can also, actually, I'll just come into this one. I see how it's bookmarked it. If I go to start cooking, it'll ask me, I'm about to um, start a new recipe. Do I want to quit my active recipe? I'm going to say no. So I can come back to my bookmark and that will be where I left it at, okay? So from here, I can put my scales on and weigh while I'm cooking. Now remember your scales are really, really super sensitive. Even by blowing on it, you can um, adjust it that way. So if it says minus one anytime, don't worry about that. It's like, you know, five grains of sugar. Okay. Uh, the other thing from here, um, you look at your recipe details and cancel the recipe. Okay. Now there's lots and lots more I can tell you, but I'm not gonna take up all of your time. I'd love for you to get in and make your stock, have a play. Remember that I am here to support you and if you have any questions. And also please join my exclusive um, Facebook page as from there I can answer questions and if I'm not available, then somebody else will answer the question for you, hopefully. Anyway, have lots of fun and I will catch up with you all really soon in person for a cooking experience where you'll pick up lots more hints and tips. All right, and thanks for um, thanks for choosing me once again as your consultant. Bye.